Hello students, before starting this lesson, I would like to give you some informative information which is stands for grammar and that too part of speech. While explaining this lesson, I am going to explain in the middle grammar points. So listen this lesson carefully, watch this video carefully to grasp the grammar points. Our lesson number three is the one inch boy. In a basket you can see a very small boy. So our lesson number three is the one inch boy. In Japan, an old woman and an old man wish for a child to fill their days with happiness. So in Japan, a an old man and an old woman wish to have a child to fill their Ha days with happiness. One day the old man found a basket by his doorway. Tucked snugly in the basket was a finger-sized child. The man called to his wife and together they brought the basket into the house. So in Japan, an old man and an old woman wished to have a child to fill their life with happiness and they found a child near the doorway of their home so they both together bought the basket inside their home with this i explain you this passage let me explain the grammar points japan japan is a name of a country so this thing comes under proper noun what is noun children what is noun noun is a naming word so in this passage, I am going to explain you common noun and proper noun. So, proper noun is here Japan, woman, man, child. These all are common nouns. One day the man found a basket. Find, found, present tense and past tense. Basket is a common noun. Tugged snugly is an adjective. Finger size child. Finger size is also an adjective. Child is a noun. That too, common noun. So, if someone is reading a sentence in front of you, you should be ready with part of speech. Man is a common noun. Wife is a common noun house is also a noun what is noun noun is a naming word so in this passage i explain you about proper noun common noun and adjective so next sent next passage let us see what shall we call this wonderful child as the wife what is wife asking here what shall we call this wonderful child Wonderful is an adjective. Adjective is a describing word. If we are describing something, someone, then that thing comes under adjective. So what she is asking, what shall we call this? Wonderful boy. He is our one inch boy. He is our one inch boy, said the husband and that will be his name. He said he is our one inch boy and that will be his name. Who said an old man to an old woman? The father made tiny chairs and a table bed for his son. The father made tiny chairs, a table and a bed for his son. In this sentence, let me explain you the grammar points. Father, CN I mentioned, it means common noun. T-I-N-Y tiny is an adjective. We are describing something. Chairs, collective noun. Table, common noun. Bet, common noun. Son, common noun. So, you all should be ready with these points, children. Be perfect in grammar so that you can do very good in English. He also curved from wood a tiny ball for his for him the mother would cook grains 
of rice for him and put them in the bowl so father made a bowl for this boy one inch boy and mother whatever she cooked like grains of rice she used to put that grains in that bowl one inch boy become became stronger now what is happening here one inch boy is becoming stronger day by day but he never grew bigger strong is also an adjective strong is also an adjective children so he was becoming stronger day by day but he was not growing even though one inch boy was very small how he was he was very small he was quite helpful he was quite helpful he crawled under the table and chairs and found whatever was lost so even though he was a very small he is having a nature to help helping nature he is having so you all should also follow helping nature children that is very good for us he wrote on his father's shoulder and what he used to do he wrote on his father's shoulder when they went to the forest and pointed out broken branches that would be gathered for firewood so he is having a helping nature and he is helping the parents in different ways let me explain you the meanings now tugged meaning of tugged t u c k e d tugged made comfortable in the bed with sheets and blankets snugly warmly in the comfortable manner curved made by cutting into wood crawled moved slowly on knees with the body close to the ground so with this we finished our grammar points 2 of lesson number 3 page number 17 i underlined few vocabulary here learn by heart write one time in your c w's while writing read and write it improves your writing as well as your reading part ask your parents to come and collect a worksheet from the school improve your reading children have a nice day